This is a club that was started here at Paul J. Ballou uh, by Miss G, Diana Grant Cagnolo, who is one of our resource room teachers here at Paul J. Ballou. She started the club probably about six years ago, uh, yeah. seeing a need in the community and knowing that the more children get involved with these type of think, activities, fundraising, right giving back to their own community, it gives them a sense of community. So she had the idea, we ran with it, and it's been a great club for I think about six years here at Paul J. Blue. Okay. So when I was contacted by Margaret Campisi, West Isla Breast Cancer Coalition, we thought this was just another venue. And there are many. I think they, they do about 12 to 15 fundraisers a year for the needy or different groups and organizations here in West Islip and in the surrounding communities. With the name of the club, they care and they share. And it shows that what's going on in their homes is being reinforced here at school. A sense of community and giving the kids uh, different goals and ambitions to help others right here in the community. Uh, we have parents who have been affected, who've lost their jobs. We have the West Islip Lionheart, which we've raised money for this year, and all that money goes right back to the community. We do a pumpkin decorating contest in the fall, where the lobby is filled with pumpkins that the kids decorate, and they end up putting nickels in to vote for the pumpkin that they really think is the best pumpkin, and that money all goes to charity. So it's just an incredible thing that the kids do, and we can give back. It actually brings the awareness to them, because sometimes when we do fundraisers, they just understanding that the parents went out and bought something and then they're just bringing in an item. But with this whole awareness with breast cancer, it's actually on uh, their ribbons. They'll start to ask the questions, they'll start to find out, they'll start to find out how it really hits home that everybody knows somebody that's been affected by this disease. Um, sometimes, unfortunately, it's been terminal. And in most cases nowadays, because of the research and the efforts of all the fundraising and all the awareness that's out there, um, a lot more people are surviving. So it, it, it is a good thing that the kids are understanding it more so now at this point they're not just bringing in an item and kind of forgetting about it. You know, we do a lot of different things here in the school regarding um, fundraising and whatnot. We do um, thank, at Thanksgiving time, Christmas time in particular, and we always get an unbelievable response from our students. They're very involved. They're more than willing to um, to help out in any way they can. They get very, very excited about it. And especially with a fundraiser like this, we do actually have several children in the school that have very personal experiences with this. So it really meant a lot to them and it, it makes them feel good to be able to know that they're helping in, in the way that they can help.